So I love what fashion gives this individuality and this um, strong voice of who you are as a, as a person, and, and can and even you can express it without even trying. what you like, what you do. Um, you communicate that on a daily basis, like the minute you wake up and dress something, dress with something, like a t-shirt could be, or blazer or whatever, it's still you try to communicate something, like, do you want to take me seriously? Do you want me to take you like as a chilled person? Do you, do you want me to make me, make me feel like accessible? Uh, this is what I like about the fashion industry. The, the way it's easy like to communicate something just by dressing certain ways. I have a vivid memory of my mom as like uh, making her own clothes uh, at our living room and um, I was really curious about like the reason why she is like making the effort to make something where actually she can go to a store and buy it. I think I was seven years old or eight years old like I couldn't really understand the value of making something for yourself but then she answered she looked at my eyes like Fahad, like when I design something for me, it's for me only. And that's the only like uh, thing make me remind me constantly. I am a woman before I am a mother. I'm a woman before I am a daughter of someone or I'm a woman before I'm a wife of someone. I was so obsessed with uh, doing the right thing and that uh, prevent me from living so now actually I'm 37 and I'm embracing every mistake every bad decision because those decisions really give me the lesson that I will never get freely so basically like in the cutting studio like I collaborated with them for this connection so it's kind of like a residency so you, you become a residency your resident you have a studio have access to an experts with pattern making, design development, uh, the business side as well, and even for the mood world. And you, you, you work with them, like you know, back and forth to design and make your collection unique in a way. The Middle East uh, fashion scene, it's its effortless. They're not trying to impress you or something. They are who they are. And the way we dress, we're not there to impress or like to say like, I'm part of the global world or something like that. I'm completely against it. I think, yes, sometimes you need to think globally, but you act globally. Uh, we have a beautiful character in the Middle East, in Khalij, in the Arabic world, Arab world, and the Muslim world, that actually no one has it. And I think we should embrace it rather than being part of something that's not part of us. So I'm working on the Bisht, which is will be uh, more sporty. So responding to the World Cup. So that will be revealed in three weeks. Um, it's a bish that uh, the fans of Qatar, we can wear it and we can part of, uh, proud of uh, their team playing at the same time um, wearing a bish uh, uh, that uh, keep, the, keep them warm at the same time.